Today we will discuss the anatomy of a font. Just like a human body have different parts, a font also is divided into different parts. So here we will start with the basics. Fonts are divided into uppercase and lowercase letters. Capital letters are called uppercase letters in typographical terminology. Similarly, small letters are called lowercase letters in typographical terminology. Here we can see both uppercase and lowercase letters. And here we can see a term called x height. So we can say that the height of this lowercase alphabet x can be referred as x height. So this particular height is called x height. We have an imaginary line here on which all the characters are placed. So this is called a base line. You can see a term called base line. Base line is the imaginary line that all type characters sit upon. So this is the imaginary line on which all the characters are placed. And here you can see another term called mean line. A mean line or a mid line determines where all the non-ascending lowercase letters terminate in a typeface means midline or mean line determines or it is the terminating position of the lowercase letters so the distance between mean line and base line can be referred as x height here we can see the mean line and the base line and the space or the distance between mean line and base line can be referred as x height there are two more very important terms called ascender and descender here you can see the term ascender ascender is the portion of the alphabet that ascends or exceeds above the x height of an alphabet here you can see this portion is exceeding or ascending above the x height so this particular highlighted portion is called ascender once again ascender is the portion of the alphabet that ascends or exceeds above the x height of an alphabet just like this portion and descender is the portion of an alphabet that goes below or extends downwards from the x height of an alphabet just like this highlighted area so we can see this highlighted area goes below or extends downwards from the x height of an alphabet so basically we discussed ascender and descended here and here we have another term called counter space counter space is the empty space or the negative space inside a letter form here you can see an empty space inside this letter form that is called counter space we got one more term right here called a cap line basically a cap line marks the height of a uppercase letter within a font it marks the height of a uppercase letter within a font here you can see it marks the height of an uppercase letter within this font 
So, in this division of anatomy of a font, we have seen uppercase and lowercase letters, x height, baseline, ascender and descender, mean line, cap line and counter space. So, we will repeat the basic terms once again. Basically, baseline is an imaginary line on which the characters is placed upon and the x height is the space or the height between the mean line and baseline and we have ascender and descender here. Ascender is the particular portion of the alphabet that ascends or exceeds above the x height of an alphabet and descender is the portion of an alphabet that goes below or extends downwards from the x height of an alphabet and we have this counter space which is the empty space inside a letter form and the cap line is a line which marks the height of an uppercase letter within a font and we also see in this mean line, mean line or mid line which determines where the non ascending lowercase letters terminate in a typeface. So, this is the mean line which marks the portion in which a particular lowercase letter terminate in a typeface. So, these are the very basic parts of a font. Thank you.